Welcome to the course on analog design, interview questions and gate questions sorted. Hi, my name is Dr. G.S. Chavit and I'll be a course instructor going forward. In this course, hello, in the given circuit, they have uh, given the ratio of V out by V in is equal to minus 12. We need to find the value of the R resistance present over here. Now, let us begin. Uh, before that, let us find out the conditions of the ideal op amp. In an ideal op amp, the gain open loop gain of the ideal op amp AV is given as V naught by V I D. This essentially converts to V I D is equal to V naught over infinity. Since the open loop gain is infinity for an ideal op amp, that essentially tells that V I D is equal to the difference of the voltage between the inverting and non-inverting terminals is given as 0. So, it means that V plus equal to V minus. This is a virtual ground. So, these terminals V minus and V plus is a ground. Now, since V plus is connected to ground, it is 0 and collectively the same voltage appears at this place also. Now that we have found the output voltage, you can use this equation, it is given as since the uh, input is connected to the inverting terminal of the op amp, we find that the output voltage V naught for a inverting op amp configuration, we get V naught is equal to minus RF by R1 times VIT. Uh, v in. So, that can be given as V naught by V in equal to minus 12. That is equal to minus Rf by R1. Now, in this case, R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohm. So, the Rf which is the effective value has a value equal to 120 kilo ohm. Now, to find the value of R, we need to effectively find the value of RF. So, this circuit in the feedback given by the two 10k resistors and R effectively forms the RF circuit. Now, to find the value of R, let us find out what is the value of current that is flowing through the circuit. So, the current flowing through the circuit is given as in this way. So, the all the current that flows from the output now will flow. There is a current that I flows here. The same current I, let us show that the current flows into this node. Then from here to the output and this place. Let us call this voltage node as E x. So, when you apply KCL at E x, we get zero minus V x by ten k 
is equal to Vx by R plus Vx minus V0 by 10k. Further, the uh, current I flowing to the resistor 10k here is given as I is equal to V in minus 0 divided by 10k. Coming back, we have uh, let us isolate the Vx values. So, Vx divided by 1 by 10k plus 1 over r plus 1 over 10k is equal to V0 over 10k. So, simplifying Vx is equal to 1 plus r times 1 by 5k equal to V0 by 10k. This is equation 1. So now, now that we have got a ratio between Vx and V0, now let us find a ratio of Vx and V in such that we can need to find out. So the, the way to find out uh, that value is find the value of R, you need to find what is the current through R. Okay, let's apply KCL at node V minus. KCL at V minus. So, there is no current flowing into the op amp. So, whatever is the current flowing here is the current that is flowing into this branch of the op amp. So, that V in minus 0 by 10k is equal to 0 minus Vx over 10k. So, we can cancel these two since they are there and this effectively gives V in equal to minus x. Equation 2. Now, let us divide equation 1 by equation 2. So, we get V0 by 10k times 1 over Vn. So, I have divided this portion and this portion such so that we get V0 by Vn on the left hand side. That is equal to Vx times 1 by R plus 1 by 5k divided by minus Vx. So, this can get cancelled. So, we get here this ratio, this statement can be rewritten as V0 by V in equal to minus goes up. So, it is minus 10k times 1 over R plus 1 over 5k. Now, this is equal to 12 as they have given in the equation as minus 12. Now we have got these two equations. Now let us simplify the two equations. This will get reduced. So taking this portion on the other side and bring it back here. So 1 over r plus 1 over 5k is equal to 12 by 10k. 
so this uh, gets simplified as r plus 5k divided by r times 5k into 12 by 10k so 5k goes 2 times 2 goes 6 times so r plus 5k equal to 6r so 5r 5r equal to 5k which implies r equal to 1 kilo ohm so the value of r is 1 kilo ohm so this way we were able to generate two equations for the two variables and connecting the two variables thank you